So today, just really briefly, I wanted to share something. I was listening to a podcast um, with James Lindsay on, uh, let's see, it's called um, New Discourses. His channel is called New Discourses. And he's actually giving a workshop on um, how to resist critical race theory. And in case you're wondering why I talk about critical race theory so much, it's because this is this is what is happening in our schools. This is the basis for everything that's happening in our schools. And so um, he quoted a book by Richard Delgado, who was one of the original critical race theory gurus back um, in the late 90s. And he got together with a group of other scholars and they they coined the term critical race theory. Um, and uh, that's it. It had already, of course, infiltrated uh, academia everywhere um, since the 30s when the Frankfurt School came over beginning at Columbia University. But um, at this point, they needed to have, you know, a cute little name to give to this. And so it, it was one of the critical theories. And uh, so this is in the, the first in the first paragraph there, the name of his book is um, Critical Race Theory and Introduction. OK, and it was written in 2001. And this is what he says. He says, unlike traditional civil rights, which embraces incrementalism and step by step, step by step progress, critical race theory questions the very foundations of the liberal order, including equality, legal theory, reasoning, enlightenment, rationalism, and the neutral principles of constitutional law. And we remember um, when Obama used to say things like, well, we don't want it, we don't know what rights the constitution grants us. We want, we want to discover what rights the constitution isn't granting us. This is what he was talking about. We're going to destroy the very uh, the very foundations of liberal order including constitutional law. Well, let me break this down a little bit better for you. So what they're saying when he says, unlike traditional civil rights, which embraces incrementalism and step-by-step -step progress, what does that mean? If we're not making step-by-step -step progress, if we're not making into incremental progress um, in our society towards fairness for everybody, ceasing to marginalize certain populations, whether they be female, whether they be a racial group, whether they be a, any demographic, okay, any demographic you can think of that is sometimes marginalized or any person who is sometimes marginalized, we are not going to wait, he's saying, like traditional civil rights movements, we're not gonna just, we're not gonna go at a piece at a time. We're not gonna let the people uh, make those changes within their hearts as we educate them and as we point out you know, the problems in our society, well, what's the op what's the option? If it isn't incremental and if it isn't step by step, it has to be all of a sudden. All of a sudden change is called revolution, right? And they don't really make any bones about it. He talks about it later in his book. It's so purely Marxist that you can't get away from it, okay? The other problem that we should all have with this is that we're not going to have a society with the foundations of a liberal order. So we often confuse, you know, we, we call sometimes people in our society that are actually leftists or statists or communists and socialists as liberals. And that is a confusing term. The traditional definition of liberalism is freedom, right? We are liberal with our freedom. We're liberal with our opportunity. And we are liberal with our equality in the eyes of God and in the eyes of the law. And this critical race theory, he just comes right out and say, we, we're going to destroy those ideas. We don't believe that, that is the answer because in all these years all these decades actually hundreds of years um the 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 white man has set up society to be in power and to continue to continue to marginalize um 
whatever demographics they choose to marginalize. And uh, this is this is a theory, and it's also a conspiracy theory because nobody can point to like the moment when a group of white men in power got together and said, we're going to actually set up society to be systemically racist or systemically um, anti, you know, feminine or, you know, whatever. We're, we're going to set up society so that this, we're going to keep, we're going to keep just a tiny uh, fraction of society able to succeed in society. There's no, there's no beginning of this. There's no book written about it. There's no document. There's no, there's no discussion of it anywhere. So it's a complete comp conspiracy theory that some phantom group of white men in, from Europe decided to do this. It's completely unproven. And so we're going to destroy the very foundations of liberal order, including equality. So we're going to do away with, we have to do away with the, the Declaration of Independence that says all men are created equal. Equality is not now the goal. And equality really is the foundation of all Western society, right? It's what we have been aiming for, for the last 246 years uh, of our nation's history. Um, we have gotten closer and closer and closer to, we haven't achieved it yet, but we've incrementally and step-by-step step made those, um, made progress on that, sometimes through civil war and oftentimes through political movements and some pain, that's okay. That's what it's about, but we're going to do away with that. With critical race theory, we're going to do away with equality, uh, legal reasoning. Okay, so we're going to destroy uh, Blackstone, all of the hundreds of years of precedent of how we form our laws and, and how we improve our laws. Uh, rationalism. So now we don't even have to think things through. We don't have to have any kind of like scientific proof or any kind of reasoning that that proves our point. We simply have to feel it, okay? And then it is. And again, the neutral principles of constitutional law. And what does that mean? Again, it means that people are equal in the side of the law. Well, if we don't have equality uh, under the law, if, if we are completely um, now going to throw that out, out the window and we're not going to have equality under the law, what are we going to have? We're going to have inequality under the law. That means that the law is now uh, going to make sure that whites don't have any advantages of any kind, even if they earn them. We're not going to have a meritocracy. Uh, we're going to make sure that marginalized populations, so as determined by the critical race theorists, um, have now more power over whites because that's fair. Um, whites, according to their theory, have always had more power over them. So now it's time to, to flip the switch. Why is this important to education? Well, all of this is coming from academia. It's all been fomenting for decades, again, since the 30s, since the Frankfurt School uh, got themselves out of Germany and, and landed at Columbia University and began spreading critical theory and all of its tentacles, okay? Um, critical theory is, as Greg Madsen at Quick Media says, is, is the hydra. And it uh, begins with this this head which is critical theory and it has all these branches into feminism and race and now transgenderism sexual identity it's the identity um identitarianism and uh since then it has thoroughly recruited and baptized um the majority of academics in our colleges which of course, began right from the beginning to uh, in the education departments of colleges. And now you have, you know, the majority of the teachers really that believe this and uh, buy into it. It's become, it's like feminism. It's become so cultural that we don't remember what life was like uh, before feminism and before uh, there was uh, the idea that all women are oppressed by men, which just is 
complete revisionist history. It's like saying all blacks were always oppressed by white men. It's not the case. Okay. People oppress each other. It's wrong. And in the Christian tradition, it, it's breaking of the first and second commandments. <laughs> so it begins in the schools. It and it is filtered it filtered down now into our elementary schools all the way down to five-year-olds. And it's sowing confusion. It's sowing all the seeds of revolution. It's super important that people wake up and they reject the school system. I, I can't help but say, I don't know that there's any other real option here for people who have their eyes open and their ears open and they're doing some research and they're listening. Just, just read Ibram Kenzie's book. Just read right from their own words. Read from original sources going way back to the 30s and what what the objective has been. It is to overthrow liberal societies, to overthrow freedom. It's to overthrow choice. And for those who are, you know, members of my church, we understand this didn't start here. This started way back before we were born on this earth, before the earth was even created, when there was this choice we all had to make of whether we were going to have choice, whether we were going to have our freedom, we were going to have our agency to choose, or whether we were going to have somebody else choosing for us what we should think, what we should, how we should feel. Please, I, I plead with you <laughs> to think very hard and pray very hard about what your children are being exposed to in these schools. Um, so many people are coming forward. So many people are trying to, to help you see it. And um, we aren't, we aren't conspiracy theorists. We aren't alarmists. We aren't being dramatic. You know, I'm not making a dime <laughs> saying this. It's something I've been saying and knowing for 25 years. Um, but I feel like it's, it's such a dire, it's such a, we're in such dire circumstances at this point that I, that I have to risk offending, um, which I, I don't care if I offend you really, I don't care. What I care about is that we don't lose a generation and that we don't hand our country and our freedoms over to people who want to destroy your freedoms. Please pick up a book and read it and have a great day. Mm -hmm.